Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Sacatlan de las Manzanas. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. Today we are continuing our Puebla series here in the mystical Pueblo Mexico, Sacatlan de las Manzanas. It is absolutely beautiful and we cannot wait to show you around. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Let's start with how we got here. Hello. <laughs> our journey started at the central bus station in Puebla. We bought tickets on the ETA bus line for 224 pesos each to Sacatlan. The pleasant 130 kilometer ride took around two and a half hours. Once you reached Sacatlan, we paid 50 pesos for a secure taxi to the center of town. Now that we're here, let's check out our place. We're staying here at Hotel La Gran Manzana, which translates to the Big Apple Hotel. Sacatlan is actually known for its apple production, which we will get into more detail later. But first, let's check out our room. It has a king-size bed, fridge, couch, big TV, fast Wi-Fi, and a bathroom with hot water, all for 27 US dollars, located just a few blocks from the center of town. Well, all right, let's get this day started. As always, we love to start in the main plaza or Zocalo because it's a great central meeting point. It's a wonderful place to come down and relax and soak up those local vibes. It's here where you can find the municipal palace as well as the Sacatlan letters. As you know, it's a great place to snap a photo. And surrounding the Zocalo, there are many cafes and restaurants as well. Speaking of restaurants, we ate here at El Andador the other day and it was great. We both had the dish called Tampiqueña per their recommendations, as well as the tortilla soup and they were both delicious. Behind me here, you can see they are building a big stage, which may be for their Apple Fair, which is a huge celebration held here every August. We mentioned earlier that Sacatlan is known for its apple production, with Puebla being the oldest apple industry in all of Mexico. They even have some apple trees growing here in the Zocalo, but don't touch them because it's not allowed. <laughs> I know, that's a hard one for you. I know, I kind of want a snack. They look delicious. It is said that the seeds were brought over during the Spanish conquest and were found to grow very well in this region due to the altitude and the temperature as they need that cool, crispy air to thrive. Here in Sakala, most of the apples are processed into juice, vinegar, cider, and tea. Throughout the town and surrounding the Zocalo, you will find shops like this selling these delicious local products. I see a six pack of apple soda that's calling my name. Don't worry, we'll save you one. <laughs> On the eastern side of the Zocalo, you will find the parish of San Pedro and San Pablo. It was built in the mid 17th century and on its facade you can see some beautiful statues of these saints. It appears this little pigeon up here has taken a seat on one of their heads. <laughs> It's cute. Just across the way is the former Franciscan convent. Finished in 1567, it is considered one of the oldest Catholic temples in the Americas. Just next to the convent, you will find this cute little market that's selling artisanal goods as well as some delicious looking baked ones. You know all this apple talk has got me hungry, so let's go see what we can find. And that didn't take too long. Adam's nose sniffed out some wonderful pastries. I got myself the pan de queso. This is a traditional baked good from the region. Region, we were told we had to try this when we came here and we've actually seen it in a lot of different forms around the town. This one here is stuffed with regular cheese but we've seen some with requesón which is ricotta cheese as well as blueberry or strawberry. Why don't we give it a taste? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, is this lady in the tramp? Mmm. Honestly, I feel like this is a bit dry. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can definitely see the appeal. It has a great flavor to it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be great with like coffee or yeah. some hot chocolate mm -hmm. in the morning if anybody has any. Mm -hmm. And I got the apple pastry that is stuffed with a complete apple. You can see how flaky this is. It's just falling right off. <laughs> it's actually a whole apple with the skin on it that's been baked inside. Wow. I can't wait to jump into this. Looks like it has some cinnamon in there too. Mm. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, wow. Wow. So delicious. Yeah. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish this up and then keep going. 
And if you're looking for some insider information <laughs> about what to do in the area, they have these booths set up right here in the Zocalo. They offer tours throughout the town to the waterfalls and so much more. But the coolest part of the Zocalo is right here. It's the flower clock, which is the ticking heartbeat of this town. It features two faces, each five meters in diameter, which play nine melodies every hour. It was donated by Relojes Centenario, which was the first manufacturer of monumental clocks in Latin America. And guess where it's located? If you guessed here, ding, 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 you are correct. The company was founded in 1918 by Alberto Olvera Hernandez, right here in Sacatlan. Behind me is the factory as well as the clock museum, which is open to the public. For 10 pesos, you can enter and learn about the manufacturing process as well as the clock's evolution. It is a great time and someplace we definitely recommend popping in. Well, all right, let's keep going. And we just wanted to let you know, we appreciate you big time. <laughs> <laughs> that is one huge clock. Monumental. What we're about to show you is very special. It's so impressive that it's hard to put into words, but lucky for us, it speaks for itself. Let's go check it out. Behind me here and running down the road and through town are the vitro murals, which are considered to be one of the largest artistic expressions in the country. This project began in 2014 as an idea to commemorate the 300th anniversary of the founding of the town of Sakatlan. These murals are made from tiles, glass, pottery, and mirrors. The first section of the mural we're showing you is entitled Eternal Life and is located at the entrance to the cemetery. It's made up of various depictions from the Bible, ranging from the creation of the universe to the ascension into heaven after Christ returns. But my favorite is right here. It's Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And it's not just because we have the same name. <laughs> this one has details that I just keep on getting surprised by. There's a little elephant, the way that this serpent is wrapped around the tree, the textures in the hair that they've created with different tiles and directions the way they place them. It's absolutely beautiful. Right here, you can actually see the holes in Jesus's hand after he was crucified. Crucified. It's just something that you look at over and over again and you just keep noticing new things like this little angel hidden over here behind the tree. Oh, yeah. Peekaboo! <laughs> Around the corner here you can see mosaics depicting the history and places here in Sakatlan. This one here seems like a story of a gentleman who's on his farm. He's got his burro who's pulling apples in the little cart. But what I love are his expressions. Look at his eyes, his eyebrows. You can really see the story of his life here. They've just captured it so well. And as you're walking down the road here admiring the mural, you are going to see pictures inside apples, which are the heart of this region. Bug bug! Bug bug! <laughs> if you continue around the corner on the backside of the cemetery, you will find the mural Nahuatl universe, which is representative of their pre-Hispanic roots. It includes 13 heavens, the nine underworlds, as well as the Nahuatl gods. It's really impressive. And you may be able to hear that beautiful music. We were down here the other day and met Alberto, who is a musician. He hangs out down here by the murals. And gosh, he brought me to tears almost right now, too. It's just it's when so you special. see the view that we show you later yeah. and these murals and this music. I mean, I feel like I'm getting choked up right now talking about it. And remember, if you enjoy this, if this is enhancing your experience, give him a little something. Yeah. He's got a little bucket out front and it means a lot. But he plays the guitar, the harmonica, he has a pan flute and he's singing. He is incredibly talented. I can barely whistle. <laughs> well, there are some more murals actually up the street a bit so come along with us and I know Adam just mentioned the view I'll give you a little sneak peek Oop. we'll bring you back here in just a little bit Just a couple blocks up from where we were, you'll run into this beautiful alleyway known as Calleon del Hueso. Here is where you'll find Zacatlan de mis recuerdos or Zacatlan of my memories, which is a collection of 18 different images portraying the 19th century here in Zacatlan. And earlier we mentioned all the detail. Make sure to keep those peepers peeping people because you'll see stuff like this. This is the grocery store. You can see the little lady working and it looks like they found tiles that have images that's not bread. 
head, but it looks like there's some pond right here. Isn't that cute? It's cute and it's making me hungry. <laughs> oh, everything makes you hungry. It's true. And I just want to say, I am so impressed with this. Look at the dimensions that they've created in the face. Normally an artist uses a pencil or some sort of paint to create these different layers. They only have tiles, so they use so many tiny ones and have actually created the depth of her face. Honestly, this is some of the most beautiful art I've seen in Mexico. And what's really nice too, next to every image, they have a placard that not only has the title, but it also describes what it's showing as well as the artist and when it it was made. This one right here is the poster of the first Apple Fair here in Zacatlan from 1941. Wow, that's a beauty. This might be my favorite one. They use some subtle colors in this one. It shows an indigenous woman. She is using the maize. She's scraping the actual kernels off of the cob. I mean, this is just so impressive. She's my Heidi, she's my Heidi. How oh, I love you. <laughs> I'm guessing this is me right up here being serenaded sure to. Sure is, that's one beauty. Right here are the two organizers of this project, Mary Carmen Olvera Trejo and Dick Davis. And right in front of us is the workshop. We popped in here the other day and got a full tour of the shop as well as got to witness the artists actually creating these incredible pieces of art. And something else that is so cool is that this project is ongoing. Right now they're creating different scenes from all around Mexico and the different states and you can actually see them in the process. Very cool. Yeah, these ones are showing their Welcome. traditional dress. <laughs> Welcome to Mexico. Oh. No, to de <laughs> Gracias. Yes. Your friend and you are making these murals right here. Yes. Tu eres Mary? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. The Mary. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh my goodness. And look at this. This is Mary who I just showed you over there, the organizer. Can you tell? She looks just <laughs> like the image. She really does. <laughs> but yeah, she comes. You're out here from 10 until 2 most days. Yes, uh, well, uh, I like to do this. We have two different tools yeah. for, to make this, mm -hmm. uh, this art. Yeah. And we love this art. So do we. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. It definitely changes areas. Yes. It brings in a lot of beauty to places. Yeah. So people want to come and walk down here now and really appreciate your city. Yes. I was just telling her that it's probably the most beautiful art we have seen in all of Mexico. So <laughs> We appreciate yes. you. Yeah. And they Thank work you. totally on donations. They're yeah. not supported by the government or anything. So when you come down here, visit the workshop and definitely contribute to their project. Yes, yeah. no, I thanks. I thank to all the people that they give us to donation. Mm -hmm. uh, I say, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And look at this. She said your name? that Adam. Adam. <laughs> and? Hi, Heidi. Heidi. Oh, but she's letting him put a piece on the wall yeah. here. This one is for all you country collectors <laughs> out there yeah. forever, right here? Yeah. Oh, 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 I gotta get it right in the spot. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Great job. Thank you. Little, Thank you. Little piece of us here forever. I love it. Okay, with your piece of tile. That's a piece of the heart. Aww, <laughs> it's well, so true. All of your hearts are part of this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Now you? Now you. Okay. <laughs> all right, and I got mine going right here. Oh, no. Oh, right, right here. here. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Oh, okay. that's a good spot. There we go. Now you need to come each by each year for to see your piece. Yeah, <laughs> your piece of little heart. It's a reason to come back. Yeah. Oh, piece of your little heart. <laughs> And the lovely Mary just told us that the faces you're seeing here are the queen of the Apple Festival. So each one of the women's faces that you see was elected during that festival in August. And this is her husband right here. And just so you know, this year, they've already chosen me to be the king of the Apple Festival. Do you see the resemblance? In your dreams. <laughs> well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Gracias. Welcome to Gracias. Alright, we could appreciate these all day, but we're gonna head back down to go bask in some of that natural beauty. Come along. Okay, 
gonna be a tight squeeze. I don't know if I can squeeze. <laughs> oh my gosh, Woo! just made it. That was not made for me. <laughs> And if your eyes haven't been pleased enough, look what's right in front of us. What, the airplane that looks like it's about to crash into me? No, beyond it. Oh, let's go check it out. Zacatlan sits on the edge of La Barranca de los Hilgueros, which translates to the Goldfinches Canyon, which you can see behind me right here. Wow, what a vision of nature, seeing this jungle running down into the valley. Look how blue this sky is. <laughs> My mind is just absolutely blown. There's little settlements down there that you can see the birds are just chirping away in the branches of the trees the butterflies are flip -flip <laughs> flipping around it's the cherry on top of this pueblo magico there's a nice long walkway here so you can just come and take a stroll and enjoy these views and while we're up here enjoying this amazing view we have to give a shout out to our newest patrons Rhonda, Joan, Diego, and Reagan. You guys rock. Thank you so much for being a part of our Patreon community. You are helping us to live yeah. happily ever after. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but really, you are. And like we say, as much as we inspire people, you are too. So thank you. Thank you. We couldn't do it without you. If you would like to join our Patreon community, we will put the link in the description below. And down here, there is also a glass overlook that is a great place for taking some photos and you could also see the waterfalls in the distance and speaking of waterfalls there are a ton in the region we got to experience some yesterday check them out from town we hopped in a taxi for 200 pesos and set out to Cascadas Tuliman it took about 25 minutes to reach the entrance where we each paid a hundred pesos our taxi driver was super sweet and drove us down to the first zone and it was then that we realized finding a ride out of here might be a problem. Upon arrival, we were greeted and shown where we could grab a free walking stick if needed and then we set out on the short but extremely beautiful hike that led us to the waterfall. And when I say waterfall, I mean one of the most beautiful sights we've seen in Mexico. It's a series of three cascades that run into one another totaling over 315 meters high. We walked up the steps to where the second one pools and enjoyed the cool spray from the mist. Amazing, it's huge! We could have stayed here all day, but there are two more zones to check out, so let's keep going. And don't make the rookie mistake of forgetting to always pack some bug repellent because you may need it. A quick but steep downhill brought us to zone two where we found some shops selling snacks and drinks as well as a restaurant. On the other side of the road, we found the entrance to Zone 2's hike, which Adam very quickly pronounced Oh, geez. when he saw the downgrade. Because as we know, what goes down must come up. The views of the valley were incredible on the way down, not to mention the beautiful Spanish moss hanging from the trees. And we even spotted a cute little snake. Sorry to all you snake loathers. Once we got down, we crossed the suspension bridge over the river and found ourselves in the forest face to face with Arbol Huesel, the hollow tree which is said to be able to fit 15 people inside its trunk. We hung out for a bit, fueling up on some water and a snack before hiking back up and then down to zone 3. Here in zone 3, you can find a campsite, some more shops and restaurants as well as a zipline course and a trail down to where the two rivers meet from zone 1 and zone 2. After enjoying the sights, we hiked back up and had a competitive duel of archery. Who do you think was the better shot? Adam? Heidi? Four bullseyes goes to me! Winner! <laughs> Now you know why Adam stays in line. <laughs> Luckily, right when we finished, a couple was walking to their car, so we asked them if they were going back to Sakatlan. They said yes and agreed to take us back with them, thankfully, or else we may still be walking. We definitely advise you to either have your own car or take an organized tour from town, which you can find in the Zocalo. All right, back to the video. Does this place keep surprising you or what? And we barely scratched the surface. <laughs> All that waterfall chasing has got us hungry, so let's go find a snack. Ooh, this spot across the street here looks good. It says they have cold drinks and delicious food. Sign me up. <laughs> right across from the canyon, we have found ourselves at this restaurant that goes by the name Tlai Yolk. Has a wonderful view. We're sitting at this bar top with some refreshing local beverages. Mine is apple juice with the pulp and Adam's. Is the frutas rojos yeah. mixed with some apple juice as well. Yeah, we ordered some Tlai which are it's a traditional food from this region and she's cooking them up right now. I can't wait to jump in. They look delicious. <laughs> they do and they look really cute. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and drinking this just took me back to Michigan and going to the cider mills in the fall. This is so tasty. I'm telling you, when you come here, get this brand, Dan Zanero. She said it doesn't have any chemicals in it and it sure, it tastes like that. It just tastes completely natural. It is apple-tastic. <laughs> These flacoyos are our first ones, so we have no idea what to expect, but they look like they're little triangles of masa, like some corn dough. I think on the inside is rape requesan that ricotta cheese or like curded cheese and then on top she put some more cheese some crema onions and it's bathed in this salsa verde wow and adam got his with a little bit of cecina some dried meat Woo. let's jump into this wow i am really excited about this <laughs> that looks like the perfect bite Mm. And they reminded me of pierogies a little bit with the stuffing inside. They are a lot like a pierogi. They have that nice soft texture to them. The cheese is perfect inside. They're just a little bit warm. The spice from that salsa verde is just like, you gotta try these when you come here. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's only been like five minutes and look at my plate. Holy crap, I sure was hungry, but I have to say these treats are it's some of the best food I've had in a while, like antojito wise. Absolutely, like I mean, this is pre-Hispanic food. Mm -hmm. You're talking about stuff that has survived the test of time. This has yeah. been being eaten by people for hundreds of years in a very similar fashion to how we ate it today. Yeah. And man, I am satisfied. <laughs> so am I. Definitely try these when you come here. We were getting ready to pay and the chef offered me a taste of the local pulque, which is made from the fermented agave nectar that we tried when we were in Guadalajara. Yeah, it's like a pake. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, gracias. I'll try some too. Okay, okay. Pulque, it's interesting because it always tastes different, you know, the different regions you go to. It's like craft beer, but it's craft pulque. Like this one looks like natural. a little more thick. Natural. Oh, it's na natural. Okay. Let's try this baby oh, out. Salud. Salud. Ooh. Wow. It's got it's it's delicious. It's not sweet at all. You can you can taste the alcohol, like just a little hint of it, mm -hmm. and that fermentation. Yeah. Kind of like kombucha. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Que sabor. Uh, natural. Natural. Yeah. It's natural. It tastes natural. <laughs> That's what he said. That's right. Huh? Are you drunk already? <laughs> One and done. And then he pulled out the mango. That's Adam's favorite. Que sabor? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh man, that's magic right there. Yeah. Magic in a cup. That's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> down the head. You definitely have to try the mango pulque when you come down here. Yes, muchas gracias. gracias. And we just met the owner, Enrique. He was so sweet. He's the one who let us try all that delicious pulque. Gave us a bunch of tips for around town. So when you are here, definitely come by here, eat some delicious food, hang out. They are happy to answer any questions for yeah, you. Tell them we say hi. And tell them we say <laughs> yeah. hi. Gracias. Hi. Gracias. Bye. Bye. Man, I am already feeling a little bit of that pulque. <laughs> I got a cheap date. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The worst part of the day. Time to say goodbye, my friends. But we are so happy you got to experience Sakatlan with us. Adam was just saying. That it was one of my favorite, mm -hmm. if not my favorite, Pueblo Mexico that we've experienced here in Mexico. And we're so glad you got to experience it with us. It would have been nowhere near as much fun without you. So true. I stole your line. She did. <laughs> But it's okay, I love her. <laughs> yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, why don't you do my line? Give us a big thumbs up, <laughs> comment, subscribe, and don't forget to... Bling, 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 bling the bell. <laughs> we'll see you... Next time. Adios. See you. My voice cracks. <laughs>